When the world starts spinning and the truth gets blurred The OG stepping voices to be heard With wisdom so grand they're here to break it down Gonna tell it like it is all around the town OG chopping block where the real talk don't stop Cutting through the BS, bring your truth to the top Every episode, the truth unfolds Holding it down, the OGs are bold Calling out the hype, calling out the lies from the city Hey man, how y'all doing, Jack? Man, doing good, my brother, how about you? I'm good, man. Good we gonna, hey man, let's sit here and put this thing on the chopping block. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We just gonna take it for a spin. Um, First, one of the first things come to my mind is let's talk about how the media is feeding into all of this uh, violence and uh, just beefing and all of this crazy stuff, man. How they're turning the young brothers against each other. You get up there, you get to making bread, and then all of a sudden you got to have a beef with somebody. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of crazy to me. What what y'all think about that? You know, um, the 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 role the role of uh, of, the, of the media. You know, uh, well, first let me um, premise with this. You know, uh, I, I our position is that like a lot of people tried, they attempted to assess you know, black on black crime, which just kept getting into it. I mean, it's that's man stakes. So how we came to we can't afford no elementary you know like assessment like that. And, this, and, I, and I don't know if you say, here come Chairman Fred, he always want to blame the government, want to blame the, the, the system. And we do. It is what it is. It is what it is. And, 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 and historically, and, and, and I tell them, when you turn like it's a war on our people, I tell them, it, it, it sounds cliche and, and, and it, it sometimes cats minimizes to just that, um, say, um, the, the dynamic of the gun. Right. Prop, uh, uh, Commandante Che Guevara uh, with the Cuban Revolution, he said that the role of the propagandist is as, is as important as that of the guerrilla. The role of the propagandist is as important as that of the guerrilla. And you look at any dynamic, you know what I'm saying, the role of media, like, you know, um, before uh, like Nazi Germany, the role, you, know, you just can't, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people divided to the, uh, to the gas chambers, but the, uh, Gro Grobel, who was the minister of propaganda under uh, Adolf Hitler, who was the Fuhrer over there, they had this whole propaganda machine. You know what I'm saying? They had, the, you know, they they, they had the um, the movies they put out. You know what I'm saying? And it, it set the tone. You know exactly. what I'm saying? It set, it set the tone. So the so <clears throat> and, and it dehumanizes you. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And it just and, and it quote unquote justifies what you know what's to come next. You know, I think back uh, when I was in uh, uh, Stateville, one of the most uh, I gotta say uh, Machiavellian uh, wards they had. In fact, he, he ended up being a director, George the Teller, George D. the Teller, and how he would, you know, you would hear stories about how he, the type of movies he would show, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. And like they would do certain things, like they would um, uh, put Brother Foe and um, they like the joint down, they're gonna, they're gonna take our showers away. They would show a movie that desensitize you from that happening. So right. you get comfortable with it. Then they'd come with the actual act of it. Right. And so you so just to see the image of it. So the, 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 I mean, the, the type of stories they report, you know what I'm saying, before you know it, you become immune to it, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. And, and, and even in, in media school, they tell them like this, when they run certain articles, they might spend 20 minutes on a, 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 some dogs get some dogs get get killed, you know what I'm saying? But the, the quick sound bite you hear, me, you know what I'm saying? About well, 50 murders in Chicago, and so right. for, you know we become desensitized to it. So right. that's that's all. That's, that's a necessary ingredient for this water. This water is waged on us. That's pretty much what's cracking, man. What you think about that? And also, you think about the average young black man already has a warrior spirit. The problem is, it's being redirected toward our own brothers, and the media right. knows that they take advantage of it. You know, you can even go back far as even Africa. They saw tribes fighting with each other, and they would arm each tribe to fight against each other. Right. You know, and most young men want to make a name for themselves. So when you hear things like this group is beefing with this group, matter of fact, I've been watching several podcasts that are owned by white guys, mm. and they telling the story so they know when they put out there. Well, this group killed so many of this members. The average young black man feels like he needs to do something about that. Mm -hmm. So they retaliate on each other. And now if you look at some of these podcasts, they even got where well, they're talking about which neighborhood is the most dangerous neighborhood. Right. You know, when I go back to even my youth, we were out there gangbanging. 
Every time we saw that gang's name in the newspaper as a young, immature black man, we felt like we needed to do, do something to keep that name alive mm, every right. time we saw it. So we wanted to keep that name out front. I remember one time it was a uh, it was a war going on. This had to be like 1980 over in Cabrini Green. And the news media gave uh, their estimates of how many gang members they thought were active at that time. Matter right. of fact, the newspaper read 300 active members of the Cobra Stones, 400 active members of the Black mm -hmm. Gangster Disciple Nation. So being a member of the Black Gangster Disciple Nation, we wanted to keep that name alive like that, but not knowing that we was destroying the community by fighting. And see, they use media, like you said, propaganda. Mm -hmm. Adolf Hitler was good at that. So, so we got, so we have like uh, Vlad, the violence in the media perpetuating. You have power, BMF. Mm -hmm. You have um, new one, the BMF that just came out, but then you have the new power uh, about the young kids, second generation coming behind ghosts. Right, right. Uh, most of the images that you see in the movies depicting us as gang bangers, violent women as prostitutes. So the media is always degrade. So watching the internet, because my uh, producer partner, Mr. Rick, and I, we just feel like it's our responsibility to start calling out some of these video podcasts that's actually putting flame to the violence in our, in our exactly. community. Exactly. But most of them are owned by white. Right. by white. Right. We have um, UK drilling. There's this white guy named Adam22. He has a podcast right. called No Jumping. Right. right. All about beefing the gangs against each other. The big one is Vlad TV. I mean, Vlad has, has mm -hmm. probably interviewed more mm -hmm. chiefs than probably right. You know, uh, then you have KBZ, you have the Hood Chronicles, and then you have the Rap Reset. Now, recently down in Jacksonville, Florida, uh, there was a beef, and I want you guys to uh, talk about the beef. Uh, Julio Fulio and Young and Ace, Julio Fulio and his whole beef in Jacksonville, uh, Florida lost his life. So, Mr. Rick, you can take it from there. Well, you know, the first thing comes to my mind and the thing that I think young people, if you're watching this, I think you should step back in time a little bit because what's happening here, as I always say, excuse the language, it's the same shit same in a shit. different box. That's right. Now, what do you mean, Mr. Rick? Well, it's the same thing in a different box. We're looking at the exploitation movement all over again. On this time, now we're dealing with the internet. Right. You see what I'm saying? You had all the other movies coming out, you know, that pushed drugs and violence and et cetera, et cetera, in the 70s. That helped destroy the community. Mm -hmm. Now, here we are again at a higher level. You know, one of the people that and I ain't throwing no lugs, but I'm just, you know, keeping it real. One of the people that irritate me the most is Vlad. Right. You know, Vlad and No Jumper. The shit they're talking about, man, you know, I'm trying to figure out what makes you think you have the power to exploit our children like that? You know, it's mind blowing to me. You know, it's always, you know, with No Jumper, they specialize in we need the argument. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's always some pit bull type shit. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Vlad brings on the guys to tell their stories, you know, that's derogatory, et cetera, et cetera. You know, uh, we need to inform young people that, you know, you got to do all that to be in front of a camera, man. Mm -hmm. You do all that yourself. You you, right. you can eliminate that part of you. you we're thinking that violence is really the way in but actually it's not it, it it has gotten so out of control that if you bring something positive mm -hmm. you will find out that people will be all over you they would love what you're talking about because we're in dire need of it man people are saying man damn man when y'all gonna feed us man right. you, you know what i'm saying give us some real food you you you, you study giving us this pause and 
We're spreading it in the community. We're spreading it amongst our children. Our children are developing into it. You know, when does this shit stop? And so what, like my, my, my people, mm-hmm. like, you know, when they uh, throw the rappers against each other, like Tupac and Big, you know, right. the sense of skill. Right. It was like the media jumped all over it to the point of, it, it's just like it's domino. Now you get this uh, Julio Fulio, I, I don't know his rap, and they're bragging about the beef between him and Young and Ace. And that's just like Chicago with the drill music. Right. Uh, all the drill. Uh, Baron, I know you and Mr. Rick and, and Chairman, you know, what about all this drill music in Chicago? How did it turn violent into Young Vaughn getting killed? Again, you know, you got young men out here seeking to make a name for themselves. I had, I have conversations with young guys all the time, you know, and again, like I was saying, all of us had that warrior spirit. Right. And when we, we want to really get naked and be honest, you still had that fear of the white man. Because when you sit down and talk to these guys, they're not making songs about killing the white people. They're not making those songs about pimping the white holes. This is about black folks. And when you even talk to them privately, first thing come out of their mind, well, I'll go to jail for that. So they still had a fear, the consequence of saying something against the white man and even the Mexicans. You know, you look at our communities now, they're being overrun. But we comfortable killing each other it's like people, when we was a kid, you had kids that would fight their brothers and sisters, but you wouldn't do that to nobody outside. Mm-hmm. See, so that has to be brought out and they need to address that because you still got the fear of other people, the fear of the white man's consequences and fear of the Mexicans, the wrath of the Mexicans. It's easy to kill another black man. You know, black man look at you wrong, you quick to up thing on him. White man come in your neighborhood, whether it's in a police uniform or not, Kill your brother, sister, and your mama right in front of you. And the only thing you hear the brother saying is that's bogus. But if there was a black man, you'd be ready to take action. So we got all this pent up anger, but it's not like they don't know why they're doing it. They know why they're doing it. What we have to do is sit down with our young brothers and they have to be exposed too. Because it's just like a disease. We know it's diseases out there. But you do what's necessary to make yourself immune to what's out there because you do have to live in this world. You got to function in this world. So we have to actually call our people out on that. And then we have to get them to develop a kamikaze type attitude when it comes to protecting the neighborhood. One of the things that really bother me the most is when you got people inflicting violence on us, whether it's the police or not. And you got a million people standing around with cameras just filming that, you know. My mindset is this, that black man's life is in danger, my life is in danger. We had to take some action right then, even if it means I might be sacrificed, but we don't do that. We film it and then we help them come up with these podcasts to Facebook, uh, Facebook to keep these wars going with each other. For example, a friend of mine is a pastor, he pastors a church over in this area called Sircon City, right? Church is right there. I believe it's on the corner of 75th and Kimbach. Now, every year, the University of Chicago have a bunch of white students that come over there for the summer program, right? Mm -hmm. Now, those white kids walk through that neighborhood. They go to the store. Now, you got black kids that are scared to walk down the street, but those white kids come over there and they walk through the neighborhood because they know that these Negroes know better than to bother them. See, even they know that. Mm -hmm. See, and that's something we should be embarrassed about. You know, we was all younger, fighting each other and all that. We thought that was cool. But when we got older, we realized, man, we, we, that's, that's, that's shameful. Ain't nothing to, to glorify about fighting and killing other black people. And see, they taking advantage of it. Like you say, it's the same shit. It's just a different day. I remember in the early 70s when you would see things about Chairman Fred Hampton, the Black Panther Party, people, I'm black and I'm proud. Then later on came the Superfly era, you know, the platform shoes. I'll never forget, I had a pair, I was young, had a pair of platform shoes. They was black with the red stitching in them. You know, we thought that was something, even though we was messing our backs up with all that kind of stuff. I had three, four (laughs) pairs. The process hair and all that type of stuff. But but how's the media, you know, because a lot of the younger kids, you know, you talk about the history, it's kind of like they don't even relate to that. Right. But what they relate to is 
uh, Mr. Rick and, and the chairman is they do relate to, and, and Mr. Rick and I know that because the original Jesus taken off. Right, right. So one of the things that we was talking about is that we want to use our platform to tell the truth. But then when we got into it, we said, okay, these old timers are cool, but these young cats, man, they, they on this YouTube, but it's like, what's like, it's like, they're just, they don't care. And, and, and it seemed like the more violence that's being put in front of them, Mr. Rick, the more they like it. Oh, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Let me, let, let, let me, and then chair and our, chairman, I'll let you. Know, good, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let me give a prime example. And this is for young people. This is not against young people. This is for young people so that you can see how this game called life works. One of the, the people, young people out there, younger people, young man, you know, that I, 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 I really like his style. You know what I'm saying? I, I like what he's trying to do and what he's growing into. And that's Bootsy Badass. Mm. I, I, I like Bootsy. Mm -hmm. But for the young people, let me, let me, let mm -hmm. me show you something here. Mm -hmm. When Bootsy first got in the game of this rap stuff, mm -hmm. this dude was a gorilla. You understand what I'm mm -hmm. saying? He was a gorilla on the streets. Yeah, right. He was bringing that into the industry. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he laid it down. Mm -hmm. But for the young people out there, you know Bootsy, you follow Bootsy, and you, you know he wasn't no joke. Mm -hmm. But when you look at Bootsy today, now that he's got the platform, mm -hmm. you know, and, and he's raising children, mm -hmm. And you know, he, he has his family, he has he done built him a compound, he's trying to protect himself and his children. The value game is different now. Because see, he's created something for himself that has value to it. And now it has to be protected. And now you're feeling like a parent. Mm. And you're trying to prevent your children from doing what you did. Right. Because, see, like I tell my children, I don't think you'd be as lucky as I was. You feel me? Mm -hmm. wow. You know, so participating in this, man, you're looking at three people that's done participated in this stuff. Don't let the little suits and, and mm -hmm. the gym shoes and stuff fool mm -hmm. you, man. We understand what this game is all about. But what I'm saying to you to conclude my point, you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to engage in murder. You don't have to engage in the violence. You, you, you don't have, have to engage in the negativity. There's a way to do this. The opportunity is here now. The internet is wide open. So your approach can be different. Don't buy into this bullshit Hollywood is selling you. Exactly. It's not going to work. It, the reason we chose to do the original OGs and we're sitting up here and we're putting it on the block, you understand, is because we see what's going on. We've been in Hollywood for a long time. We see the bullshit. We know that the people need to be fed positivity, some consciousness. That's what these conversations are about. That's what trying to build a platform for with all the brothers that you see we bring to you to give you a true understanding of what this thing started out to be and how they took it, twisted it, turned it, and weaponized it against us. Don't fall into the same trap, man. And you know what's cool, and, and Chairman, I'll let you go, but it, it's kind of like when you see all the really popular podcasts, when you see all the really popular uh, uh getting the views, the most hits and the most everything. It's all about nonsense. Mm -hmm. Who's sleeping with who? Uh, who's beefing with who? Destruction. All about destruction. And I know, Chairman, I know, man, you just be out there, man. But when I see y'all, especially like Vlad, I, I can't even watch some of this stuff. You know, my, 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 uh, one of those young men told me about uh, uh, Adam 22, No Jumper. Man, I went on the internet and was on his podcast. Man, I couldn't believe that dude irritates the Tattooed up, man. Looks straight up like a straight up <laughs> skinhead undercover. You know, and just 
almost like he's on the mission to say, man, y'all, y'all, y'all Negroes out there, y'all niggas out there, y'all just stupid. So I'm just gonna put it here, make all this money. I'm gonna go to my uh, resort. I'm gonna live large off of y'all's stupidity. That's exactly what it yeah. is. But chairman, you've been quiet, man. What do you say no, about that? No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, a lot of, a lot of the. Um, Contradictions and issues that we dealing with. I mean, it's it's, it's, it's on steroids. We, you know what I'm saying? I mean, because you real, take you yeah. take and, 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 and old saying ain't, ain't nothing new under the sun. And um, the re, uh, um, reality is too that with these youngsters, it's one thing that we can tell them. You know what I'm saying? Do their own, they can do their own thing on the internet, but they see that dynamic. Because I mean, they they I people don't believe that we that that we that valuable. That someone you know what I'm saying? That there's a concerted war. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm mean, talking terms like Cointel Pro, the counterintelligence program. Back, even back in the 60s and 70s, oh, I, was, I was born in 69, but they don't, I'm, even to, up to present day, a lot of people was like, man, the government ain't thinking about y'all. A lot of people still, they, I mean, it's the worth, the self worth. A lot of people don't see that, we, that, you know, that it's an actual program that people put together, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to, take, to study our community. And the reality is, I mean, con is a, a chic anti diop, chic, a, a phenomenal African historian. Say, you know, um, don't, we come from a, a, a people where we can work uh, a society, a matriarchal society, where we we can work in harmony. With, you know, so we get with the nature, the different the, the men and women, so on and so forth. The reality is this system. You know, you know it, it needs you know, it, it, it needs somebody to be exploited. That, that's, that's the makeup of it. it comes oh, from yeah. like you, exactly. you, you look at everything like in, in, in the relationship. We can, for example, we can be in, we can we can hop on an elephant in Africa and go. Where we going. The elephant continues to go, go as it says. You look at them different, like them different um, white people's uh, careers with different animals and stuff be all over the world. So a lot of people be like, man, they must be real hungry. No, 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 it's not to eat. It's just, you know, trophies. and it, Whenever they come into contact, people say, man, you, uh, do you think it's life on Mars? I say, I don't know what, if it is, I know they praying, whoever they believe in, please don't let the white man come up here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. The next thing you know, because one, one, you know what I'm saying, one comes to the expense of another. So this has to happen. You know what I'm saying? Not people well, we just do our own thing, separate from them. No, this, that's the nature, that's the nature of this system. You know what I'm saying? And you look historically, whether it be the organizations, whether it be the music industry, you know what I'm saying? You look at so many careers. Uh, um, those, um, what's the name? Uh, they said she had the, uh, the whole uh, the raunchy thing. Or not, um, oh, sister, uh, she's still alive now. I forgot her name. She, they were talking about how she, they tried, they, they had, she had to go to another arena because they were trying to pivot her. I, 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 I think it's Natalie Cole. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and see, you would like you hear the stuff about different comedians in present day. Now you say you got to be one. You, know, you can say why? Well, why both of these? Why Dave Chappelle and Cat Williams can't be funny? You, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But imperialism, the, 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 it's sale, that's the dynamic of it. You have, you know, what I'm saying it, it, it has to be an antagonistic contradiction. Contradictions exist. Minister Dewey P. Newton say contradictions are the ruling principle of the universe. But the deal is that this. This is a, this is a this is a country. This is a system that that uh, uh, they implement the Woodlawn experiment. You know, south side of Chicago. If it's Woodlawn experiment, where the Chicago police dressed, dressed up like the then known Devil Disciples in the drive bys on the Stones headquarters, where University of Chicago, Sears and Roebuck, First National Bank, Rockefeller Foundation, and other entities had funneled the uh, 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 finance to um, uh, the Reverend Finney and other, the other uh, uh, fiscal agents, and to set up a crime epidemic where the property value went down in Woodlawn. You know, what I'm saying University of Chicago was able to get that property. You know, what I'm saying. And, and a lot of times people say, well, is it just about money? No, the man, in, look, uh, Tulsa, you know what I'm saying? Whenever we start organizing, or matter of fact, we ain't got to do nothing. This, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's going it's to tap into the entire community and say, man, how can you make this an antagonistic contradiction? And uh, like I said, it's on steroids, the, the infamous Cointel Pro. And uh, now uh, different dynamics, they, they study the algorithms, what trigger you. You can have the best intentions. I'm, I'm, I know myself, I'll be like, them phones, I catch myself sometimes looking at night. You know what I'm saying? It, it, they, 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 the blue, the light, the blue light. They, they have done study. Crack cocaine. They scientists admit that the more melanin, the, the, the darker you are, the more addictive you are when we come to this here. And see, not till we come with this abstract assessment, like, well, we just bad people. Or we just know it's a science to this. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, they, man, you can have a bet. You say I ain't gonna do this. I ain't gonna do that. I tell people, I don't care. I mean, everything from the type of food, I'm using that word loosely, that's in our community. Mm -hmm. It's addictive. You know what I'm saying? I catch myself, I'm talking, man, I ain't going to eat right. no fried fish today. Man, you're you craving for it. Mm -hmm. and then you, then it's the, 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 the machinery of it. It's not just an individual. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, like doing the, the, um, 
when they hear they hit us they hear a shima crack cocaine every i mean you, you have to take into account the type of uh, uh, movies that was out, you know what I'm saying? The type right. of the, uh, 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 the stores that you can get the baggies accessible. You know what I'm saying? Well, no. So a and this system. and it, it's system and it's giving you the impression that this is not only illegal. We are encouraging you. you. You need some help with this here. See, like as opposed yeah. to yeah. like like and, and you talking about some of the movement like, with, with your people. It's, it's one thing is individuals say I want to do do the right thing, but you you, you don't have the, the dynamics like this impacts the lack of relationships. You, know, you follow what I'm saying? You, like people, man, he crazy on that. He on that doing some positive, and the heat that come with it. So even even with the things about how how people how brothers and sisters in our community how they view white people, it's not University of Chicago students. They come through the, the, the foreign merchants in our community. Mm -hmm. They lock right. up at 11, 12 o'clock at night. It's not because they, they, they courageous or brave. This man, it's, a, it's, a, it's told us directly, indirectly. But, you better not cross that line. But isn't that going back, brother? This is what I'm just saying, man. And then, brother Darren, we was having a conversation the other day, and we was talking about, like we talking about that Julio, Fulio, right? Uh, uh, youngie, uh, young G Ace, youngie Ace, and we was talking about the conversation these young brothers had, where they had come in. And they have their guns. They take their guns out, mm -hmm. playing video games. Mm -hmm. And right. then all of a sudden, they they getting on the serve mm -hmm. pills. Their head get messed up, and they just put the video game on pause and say, "Hey man, let's ride down and see what's down. Let's ride out and see what's down there." Meaning, let's ride down and see who see we can down. find yeah. right. and kill. But 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 my thing is, brother, picking up on our conversation, man. See, I don't blame white people. Because right. I know it starts with our family. Our start. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what we're talking about. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, 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 no. We can't say that one season the Asley brothers was supposed to make a lot of babies. What here's what I'm saying. But that, yeah. if 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 I put a gun on the table and I put a book on the table, if I put a million dollars by the gun and I put two hundred and fifty thousand dollars by the book. Which one of those do you think the young black guy going to put that neck? Let me be clear. Let me be clear. Also, not white people. This system is run by white. By, I'm, I'm be, be clear. This system, this right. white power controls the system. I'm be clear on that. I don't want to minimize just no, no human beings. It's a machine. Right. Add to that. Add to that. Add to the, with that money. Add to the type of um, the music. Add to the reward. Add to the woman. The, the, you know what I'm saying? Add to the conversation. The, the, how, how it's going to be? I mean, I walked at the BET Boys last two weeks ago. I'm sitting in the fourth, I'm in the fourth row. Okay. I'm in the fourth row. You didn't invite us, but go no, ahead. No, 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 no. <laughs> look, look, most of my moves, I gotta move on a pivot. You know what I'm saying? I tell people, I say, I be, I say that suitcase y'all see it, I live out that suitcase. I get a phone call. Let me, let me, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened in this situation. The BET. No, the, oh, oh, when I get there, I'm trying to psychic people go. When I get there. So first I'm going to this, this award ceremony. Was, uh, when I get there, I'm coming to context about the, uh, the movie, Judas and the Black Messiah. Most cats don't even know what a revolutionary is. You feel what Let's start from that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, it's a foreign language. You know what I'm saying? So when I get there, then for the bio come, one person say, man, give us a little bit so how we introduce you. Mm -hmm. The cat that's introduced, this, 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 this uh, MC in the joint, an actor, Brandon T. Jackson. Now, this is my first time publicly talking about this country. This is a perfect example right here. So now when you get there, they're hosting different other people coming in. Now, as opposed to the climate with representatives of our movement, are held up, you know what I'm saying, and it's respected. Ray J comes in. Ray, Ray J, when he comes in, got these three, four groupies behind him. See, that's what I told you. Just don't put the money. Add, add all, add the icing on the cake now. So three, you saying? So that's what that's, that's a whole. They get three, four groupies right behind him. It's a certain. Now, he, now he's talking, but the guy who's hosting, he's he won't even he wouldn't, Ray J wouldn't say to get no war. And it's no slight on him. He's gaslighting and say, man, you, you you the king, you blah blah, you this and that. You know what I'm saying? You can see the little brother, he sit back like, you know, man, this, you know, I just came here. It ain't about me. You know, it ain't about me, you know what I'm saying? But this, this, this the whole, see, like, so this the whole, had the machine set up, you know what I'm saying? So, if, so, so not, first of all, when I first come in, the security lady, she said she didn't know who it was. The owner, white guy, at the joint, he said, he said hold on, you, that's, that's Chairman Fred. You know what I'm saying? So when I come in the joint, so then when I go up, the dude couldn't find my award. So I say it's no coincidence, and the other brother say, "Man, you right." I say, "I say this is wrong, man." I say, "This how I'm, this how y'all." I say, "Listen, man, I'm I'm Chairman Fred Hampton Jr. And the grand the guy he gonna say, "Fred," so I said, "No, that's Chairman Fred." It's not not ego tripping, but he you know what I'm saying. I say, "You constantly," and the rage is right there. I say, 
you putting this guy in a position that he's not even asking you to put in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See, they asked Malcolm X on the interview one time. They told Malcolm, they said, man, Jackie Robinson disagrees with your position about violence. Malcolm X said, whoa, 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 hold on. We don't quote no Bob Hope or no Marilyn Monroe for your people. Huh? This, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's strategic. See, they were grab in the you know what I'm saying? It's, they were grabbing and putting them in positions. You know what I'm saying? And I got you know what I'm saying? I'm, this, this, this video to this situation. So I'm on a thing, but I'm laying, I'm laying down the, the, the contradictions about the movement. Dude says, Brett, the actor, but he say, that's the problem. You know, we, oh, we, we talk about uh, uh, black, we shouldn't talk about this stuff in public. But I said, whoa, I said, who, 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 what you talking about? No, I ain't talking about you. I said, well, I'm the only one talking about black right. people. What's happening? You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, then, then the white guy, I look at him and say, yeah, you're right. So I said, you know what? I get the one. I said, maybe it's time for me to go. The brother, his, 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 his sister said, no, we need you. You know what I'm saying? We hiding. See, once you get into this, this one thing about OGs, it's like putting the pill in applesauce. Once we're able to tap into them, you feel what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? They, they said, what's your choice? You know what I'm saying? But the, the deal is, that whole, I, that whole, you know what I'm saying? Them cats, when I hiding them the way I did it, but, but through the door, it's been such a uh, an incorrect narrative about, you know what I'm saying, about what revolutionary, he gonna come in, snap out, you know what I'm saying? Once I got to talking, I up the appetite was on, you know what I'm saying? That's the dynamic, of, but, we, but we, also we got to be clear. All this stuff about, it's a war waged on us. It's not no passive thing like it just happening. And I come to acknowledge that, you know what I'm saying? See, the 60s, the movement, and all we say that I'm sitting closer, see, People get involved in struggle one of three ways. Inspiration, aspiration, or desperation. Most people is going to, you know what I'm saying, this era right now, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? people, are, I had a quote from the 60s, niggas needed Nixon. Yeah, yeah, niggas, yeah, because when the black, yeah, when the Black Panther Party was out there when doing that class piece, when Kennedy was in office, oh man, they crazy, paranoid. When Nixon came in and pulled them condoms, the condom office said campaign for law and order, it forced a lot of motherfuckers to get quote unquote conscious. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See. See, people, most, see, some people are inspired for this, some people you know, uh, 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 aspire, and some people say, he turned more than me black. But wait a minute, because, and I, I, you know, I'm listening to you, brother, I feel your passion, but Darren, you just said, why are black people killing black people? Why, you know, why do white people can walk through our communities, do things, Mr. Rick, like you were saying, all the, so my thing is like, and Darren, brother, just, just one, what's this brother, why is it black on black crime? Okay, most let's go back to when black folks was coming from the south yeah. to the north. Uh -huh. They were trying to work and find a better way of life. Right. They came up here. But some of us, I wasn't in that time when I'm saying some of us, some of, some of our people, we saw what the white man, now the white man was the gangsters back then. We wanted to be just like them. You even got niggas running around here changing their names into I'm Lil Caesar and all this because of the stuff that we saw in the gangster movies. So we started trying to be like them. Only difference was we knew not to kill one of them. Now, a lot of people not, all this killing is going on. You want to know why people do a lot of killing? Because for some people, killing is the ultimate platform for respect and gratification. It makes people feel good. I killed that motherfucker. So they think killing is the ultimate, it's like the ultimate climax. He's a killer. And then everything on TV we see in the media that they putting out there, so-and-so is a killer. Just think about it. He a killer. He's a killer. It's killing in the movies. Killing, uh, you see it on these platforms. So-and-so is known for being a killer. So the next kid coming along is looking at that. Man, I want to be like him because they think that's going to give me respect. Now, the only difference between black killers and white killers and Mexican killers, white folks kill other white folks and they kill black folks. Mexicans kill other Mexicans and they kill uh, black folks. Okay. Black folks only kill black folks because they are afraid of them people. Even them little niggas in the street right now, very few of them will cross that line. So you want to be respected. You want to be known as a tough guy and a killer. You go find another black guy because you know if you touch one of these white folks, it's going to be some dire consequences. And a lot of them are afraid of it. Now, every now and then, you'll find somebody that will cross that line. But the great majority of them, they're not going to cross that line. So that's why I say some of our people, they got to be put on the spot. Man, we're not honoring you because you killed another black man. That's embarrassing. We're not finna mm -hmm. honor you because you killed the, the Black Panthers. When we used to hear about the Black Panthers, they stood up to the police. 
That was something to honor. The Soul Dad Brothers. See, I, I showed a picture, a young brother, a picture of the Soul Dad Brothers when they brought that judge out mm -hmm. of the courtroom. Mm -hmm. They didn't know that a nigga would ever kill a judge. Now, they got killed in that. Mm -hmm. And I think, what's his name? George Jackson. John, no, Jonathan Jackson, John, August Jackson. 7, 1970. Uh, now, how old was he, Chairman? Just turned 17. Young 17 man and child. 17 years old. And a lot of people would not have known about it. I'm tagging team with you. See, it's it's a it's not we I this narrative about this black on black crime. It's an old air accent that says if a tree falls in the forest and you don't hear the tree doesn't make a noise. It does. Who are you? Because you didn't hear it. You're right. Man, listen, forward. man. Right. Oh, the Black Panther Party newspaper, the intercommunal newspaper. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people wouldn't have known about that had it not been for the Black Panther Party newspaper. You gotta be brother just told me two days ago, I'm talking two days ago. He said, Man, this he said, man. As the chairman friend the fiscal clock, Captain Mar Clark got assassinated. How they came for man, motherfuckers sh act, shook shook this country up. You can't you hard pressed to find an article about it though. When they train an elephant in India, when they train an elephant in India, if that elephant see the trainer step on the cup, that elephant got to be killed or transferred. Right. You know why? Because right. they run the risk of them other elephants saying, "Hold on, what's the hold on? How is this?" You know what I'm saying? See this whole thing about because the, the, the cartel knocking each other's wigs off over there. You know what I'm saying? They're getting out, you know, Mary getting down against each other. White folks, you know what I'm saying? White folks getting, shooting up schools, everything. And motherfuckers, I hear it's resistant. They're not gonna cover, they're not gonna cover this here. Man, this sister on the uh, uh, airline store, 40 some years old, told me, she said, Yeah, I watch BML, but I'm scared to watch Jews and Black Messiah. I, I, said, I, said, I said, Yeah, she was, I said, it's more no killing than BML. She said, She was, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna train people, but yeah. the deal is, we had to, we had to hunt and say, Listen, just because I don't know about something happening, don't mean it's not happening. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Man, let me just real quick. Proviso East High School down the street. The books tell you a different story about, about Sheila Crump, that Sheila Johnson, the, 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 the wife of, the, of Bob Johnson, BET. She graduated from the school down the street. Chet, they had a thing for the homecoming queen. I was under the impression that he fought to get a black home, get up there. He challenged it because what they did is they tried to attack it because she, she could pass. She could pass. When they gave, yeah, they put on the spot. He still said, no, he called that contradiction. They, a sister just told me this other day, so I was in school there. This not in the books. They, you know what I'm saying? They intentionally, I mean, you see how they switched the, on, on, on a news story yesterday, how they flipped the script around, you know, you know what I'm saying? I done been places protesting up in, in, in George Floyd and get back, they say Black Lives Matter. I see, man, I, the Black Panther Party Cubs was up there. You know what I'm saying? They don't put people in groups who was not even there. This, I'm, I'm right there, I'm on, I'm on the scene. We got cases. They flipped it right there in our face. And you go, now, the 20 years now, people go, oh man, that's nice. The white groups came out there and put, I'm telling you, the Black Panther Party Cubs, but they never, the story be written all the time. And we gotta be, we gotta be, in war, propaganda, oh, man, guns, all that's important. All that plays a role. Well, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a square, but Mr. Rick and I, we always talk about the black politicians. The spooks that's sitting by the door, right. you know, and and I, I just got to give my brother credit because that's the reason I started doing the show because one day I had a conversation with Mr. Rick and Mr. Rick was just like, brother, you know, these wasn't gangs, these was organizations, mm -hmm. and he said, if you listen, King David, King David's from the Bible, you know, mm -hmm. and you know the Star of David, five point star. So he started to educate me on this thing. I say, wait a minute, something what? What happened, Mr. Rick? <laughs> and brother, you go ahead and just, well, because you know, as a writer, I've been to Hollywood. Mm -hmm. I've sat in the room where the writers are writing about street life, gang banging, killing, and the only black person in there is the showrunner. Yeah. The rest of the writers are white. Yeah. And they intentionally tell the wrong story. Well, Mr. Rick, I <laughs> mean. You know. I totally agree. I totally agree with Chairman. I totally agree with Brother. I'm baffled at how we're going to introduce people to the information that gives them the understanding of what's really happening. It's like Chairman Fred is saying, hey man, this is a conspiracy. You know, I, I don't want to throw this on innocent white people, mm -hmm. but I ain't going to take it off the higher power either. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking food. We're talking alcohol. We're talking smoking. 
We're, we're, we're talking about all these things that are being targeted at us. You know, you know if, I, I'm just trying to explain a conspiracy mm-hmm. because we, if, before we can understand, if we don't understand the conspiracy, the conspiracy. we yeah. don't understand the environment. That's right. That's right. When you go in your neighborhood, the most important things in life is food, shelter, and clothing. If you go in your neighborhood and a different motherfucker Mm -hmm. is selling you your food, Mm -hmm. your clothing, and your shelter, Mm -hmm. you got a real problem. And when you go in the black community, there are Arabs there, Mm -hmm. there are, man, I ain't bashing Arabs, I'm just saying there are different Mm -hmm. nationalities there controlling all of these major veins, man. And we're walking around like it's a norm. Mm-hmm. It's not a norm. You cannot go in their community and sell them food, mm-hmm. clothing, and shelter. They will kill you. Mm-hmm. They won't run you out of the community. They will kill you. you don't. It's that serious. Yeah. I can remember, and 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 I'm a, I'm a, but I I won't say this. I can remember in the seventies on the west side of Chicago. I'm from Chicago Avenue. All the stores were black. I remember that. Mm. I can remember when the Arabs came through there and offered cash Mm -hmm. money Mm -hmm. for the stores. Mm -hmm. I can remember Mr. Ralph saying, hey, they came through and offered me $250,000 cash for my store. I don't know how long Mr. Ralph been there. But he said, hey, man, I can't pay my bills here. Yeah. I can't keep stock here. Yeah. I got to take the money. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They bought every yeah. store on Chicago yeah. Avenue. Yeah. yeah. You telling me that's not a goddamn man. conspiracy? What's happening yeah, right now? Is. The, ta- yeah, the ta- property taxes yeah. in Cook County. They, the, the assessor himself just admitted on the news two days ago. They say it's a mistake. The white people property taxes have not done this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, 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 they said it went to the white there. See, it, 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 it was a law we challenged by the juvenile, the juvenile detention. They said that they said all juveniles in every county, for the exception of Cook, which everybody knew the town from, from, from predominantly black, this kind we lose in that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To were to, to, to be separated from adults. They were saying Randolph Thompson, all the county where the white children was at, they couldn't be around no adult prisoner. Right. Translation. Put them babies, you know what I'm saying, around, and they know what type of adults they're talking about too. Mm. The bandits. Mm. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. They, I, the, man, it's so, man, it's, man, it lay, they just said out their mouth. The, what's, the, what's, what's the lady, the one, the lady the singer, she, married, she did with the Kansas City Chief uh, football player, uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Oh, Swift. Yeah. Could you imagine Vlad TV? Could you imagine one of these entities even talking about Taylor Swift? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they'll be in a conversation about, man, you know what I'm saying? Could, could, could even for a name to come up in the world, you know what I'm saying? The machine, it wouldn't even make no sense. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it wouldn't even, it, man, it wouldn't even Shut make no Your mind couldn't even conceive it. It's, they normalize it. You go back and look at a lot of these young brothers and sisters who, who, who got cases on these shows, man. And you, they put up their records. You know what I'm saying? The issue, this ain't no slight on them. The mental health issues they had, you know what I'm saying? He have a psychological profile. You know what I'm saying? When they, you know, so not, when they grab these youngsters. They put them up. They know, they know the issues they done had with them, who's on riddling. Mm-hmm. Man, there's one brother case back mm-hmm. to Casanova. Then they, they brought this, this, they brought this, case, this case style out. I say, man, if nothing else, when these cats are in them courthouses, the defense should be their medical records, every video game, the Grand Theft Auto. They got right. a game so right. graphic. They got a game so graphic. It shows you the street Dearborn, the street you yeah. grew up on. It's right. you walk right. up on a cat, yeah. you yeah. shoot them down, you see the blood come out. You go up in these trap houses now, where these cats hustling at. These, these cats, it's common for these cats to be in there with these Google glasses. For real. Getting off. Get, man, Google, with, it's, so, it's, so, it's so detailed with the women, you know what I'm saying? Getting off. They don't, they don't even want no woman. You know what I'm they can't even communicate with a woman. They keep in the, they in the trap houses. They do, before they try a soldier, an adult soldier, before they tell them Afghanistan, Iraq, they do simulation with them. You know what I'm saying? Like when you, you go to driver's ed, you go through the, you used to go through the driver's thing, yes, you get comfortable. They do psychological, man, the, what's the Beast of No Nation with Ildris Alba? That movie, it showed you how they take these shorties. They numb them up. The type of music they play for them. You know what I'm saying? They grab them, they bump, you know what I'm saying? Chemical biological warfare. The propaganda they hit them with, man. 
it, it, and, and the type of drugs they hit them with, you know what I'm saying? It's the strategic, you know what I'm saying? The time of morning they play the music. This whole thing is warfare, man. And you, you, you got a best intention. And a lot of times people be so dismissed from it. I'm over the sister one day, she telling me, y'all don't let my children listen to Nicki Minaj. Why is she talking? Her son's playing a video game, the soundtrack. It's Nicki Minaj. <laughs> she wanted, you know what I'm saying? Clear on it, you know what I'm saying? Right. Man, it's, man, this is it, man. See, a revolution, see, and it gotta, it's gonna, it gotta come to a stage in the game. See, see, in the 60s, it was, the, 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 the youngsters, my mother got put out of the auntie house for being the Black, Black Panther Party. That generation stood and said, man, we love you. We ain't up with the white Jesus picture. You follow what I'm saying? Mm. They call, call a question. You know what I'm saying? Malcolm X said it was a 14 year old, 14, 15 year old girl from China with a 45 in her daddy head on the front of Time Life magazine. Mm. They said, what are you doing? She said, he betrayed the revolution. Mm. It was a, you know, it became a cleansing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it became a see how you were romanticized struggle. When the Andy was up, when Andy was up, I'm gonna say this in closing. But before you say you're closing though, bro, let me challenge you yeah. on that. But see, that's what that's what that's what we're talking yeah. about. These black politicians, and we talked about this, brother Dan right, and Mr. Right. Rick, how they're propagating and fronting this anti-violence. Like they're gonna go on the street and try. And they I may have, government money. I may have given the wrong impression. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, we I don't, don't say hey. oh, I don't speak French. Right. I don't say we see, I don't see, I call out the gringo and the negro. Yeah. Uncle Sam and Sambo. You know what I'm saying? See, I don't I don't subscribe to this abstract black nationalism that we all together. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm cut from the cloth of, you know, of a revolutionary politic. It was a time with Kimmy O. See, Kimmy O's song in North Korea, he made it clear to the United States. He said, Oh no, no, the South Korea may be with you. We're not with you. You know what I'm saying? Ho Chi Minh and the Giant. They just say they made it clear to the U.S. They say, no, no, South Vietnam may be with you. We're not with you. See, I'm, a lot of times people want to hold on to it. See, I got, I got an issue, a hard time cleaning up, cleaning up around the house. I be trying to, oh, I want to say that, I want to say that. Now, when it comes to organizing our people, I ain't got that issue. You know what I'm saying? Whoever, listen, man, I don't... But so how do you feel about the black politics? Let me tell you, it's not an absolute. Let me tell you something. First of all, no absolute. See what I'm saying? I got felt, listen... I don't, man, I tell you this, I got, man, I don't cut no corners with no, man, who don't get your last name, who you cut no corners with nobody. You'll be so, who you up there, Annie. I don't, we come in, we gotta come in, uh, 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 other, hold them accountable. Ain't this this elementary friendly, who cool, I like you, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It was a, we had this in a climate where it was a different sort of politician, different sort of athlete. See, the boss so low with us, you, look, look our people was fighting to get a cat, a quarterback, a, 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 a job to be a quarterback on the football field. The, the script was flipped in the 60s with a Muhammad Ali say, how can I stand in, style, stand in solidarity with you, with the people? You know what I'm saying? See, how they service us. See, when you up the ante, you, you'll be surprised on how people deal with you. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, the, the Bobby's so low, a lot of people, they come through a Bud Billiken parade, throw a t-shirt, smile. People, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, when Biden came to, to Chicago about two months ago, the Palestinian community said, did this here. He ain't taking, he ain't saying nothing about what's happening over there. They say they they say it wasn't gonna be. They say, I forgot this term they used, but it wasn't no vote. I, I, our community is so reactionary. When I, we say something, they say, "Oh, you must be for Trump." Uh uh uh. uh. See the black the, the, the Black Panther Party. It was a climate then, man. You know what I'm saying? If you want force to choose, to choose you know, Landon Baines, Johnson, or Nixon, you had the Black Panther Party. That that's a revolutionary organization. This year we having the People's Convention. I, see, I'm gonna go see. I'm the last. We the last call for alcohol. That's who y'all. That's who, that's who the Black Panther Party come. We had a last call for alcohol. After they exhaust all them remedies, they gonna say, man, who is that? Oh, we the woman service you all the time. Once we step, then we can have a discussion, you know what I'm saying, with uh, 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 the, the different uh, uh, politicians. We had the African anti-terrorism bill. 15 years ago, we had it. The AAT bill. It talked about the, the terrorists, that the OVs, not the OGs, the original victims. No, 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 <laughs> the original victims of terrorism. We put in contests. We're going to condition the Cook County Jail. Police terrorism. Political prisoners. We, when people ran for office, when they had that vote of doubt, why you think Puffy didn't come to Chicago? Wait, wait, hold on. Why you, man, Ben Shavers, he said, man, he counted. We told him that vote of doubt did this here. They don't take no position on political prisoners, reparations, or we we, every, every entertainer, that's what, that's what every politician. We have, we had, we had a document. We had, that was, he U turned. He didn't come to, man, this dude, they had to vote or die. We went on the stage when Obama was running for Senate, not president. I'm just documented. We on the stage. We went on the stage. They said, man, don't do that, man. He's going to be the first black senator. So we said, man, we don't care if he's going to be the first black Martian. We'll stay positioned on this African anti terrorism bill. My man, quick and I, really? I'll never forget what he did. Cricket, I seen that picture, man. We had Daryl Hamilton shot 15 times in Chicago Police Department, December 2nd, 2002. 
Crooked out the belly. He seen that. He said, I stand in solidarity with these brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? This, this ain't, we ain't knew this. We grew this. This is the AAT deal. Charles Barron, Councilman Charles Barron, New York. He signed on with it. Yeah. So this ain't no, this man 15 years ago, the, the AAT bill. But let me ask you this though, bro. I like your energy, Mr. Rick and, and Darren. So we talk about P. Diddy, R. Kelly. So they build, like my thing is, it seemed like everything that black that rise to the top, it ain't the white folks who's tearing them down. To me, it's us. I mean, like I said, if you go, and, 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 and I feel your passion, brother, but to me, and I'm just coming from my, like I said, I'm, I'm kind of like on the outside looking in. It's like, okay, my producer partner and I, Mr. Rick, you know, we started this thing, man. You know, we was like, man, we're going to do And then all of a sudden we get a call saying, nah, man, y'all got to get into this dirt. Y'all got to get into this. And we said like, nah, because like Mr. Rick said, if Diddy would have had an OG, Mr. Rick, I want you to expound on that. You know, and I was saying that had these guys had previous history, they could have read the play. You see what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm just going to give it to you, Raw, give you some real game. They take you out of your environment so that, like the chairman said, they can recondition mm. you. Mm. They want to they wanna put you into a delusional world, an il illusional situation, so that you can't understand how they're playing you. See, one thing about, we'll go, mm. go back to what Chairman said. Let me tell you something. I'm going to give you some real game now. They know what you like. Mm. They done studied you. Mm. They mm. see the freak in you. They're, they're watching you. Mm. They know what you're doing when you leave them. They got people following your ass. So when they find out what it is that you really desire, mm. they give it to you. Mm. Oh, oh, you know, we over here, we got this, you know. Yeah. You know, it's mm. the club over here. Mm -hmm. mm. And then you take people like our good brother Puffy. You buy into that. Yeah. And then you begin to set the table for it mm. with your own environment. Mm. I done been to Puffy's parties. Mm. I wasn't allowed to go inside, mm. but the big mansion parties, I done been out there and I'm looking at everybody and I always tell this story and I want you to understand what I'm saying. First of all, I want you to understand, excuse my language. They don't give a fuck if you black, white or Martian. Mm. They laying their game down. Hmm. I seen Andy Dick at a puffy party. This guy was so spaced out of his hmm. head. Who was Andy Dick? Andy Dick, the comedian. He was a big time hmm. uh, sitcom star and shit. Young dude, out of his mind, yeah. running around the party. We in a big mansion party. We on the where you see the balcony and all this here, mm. man, this dude, I'm, I'm talking about this dude couldn't even hardly stand up. Yeah. Man, he's just mm -hmm. whacked out. You can see he's drugged out. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm saying, damn, why don't somebody help? He, he was so drugged out, I felt sorry for yeah. him. Yeah. I'm saying, man, why don't somebody help this yeah. guy? Yeah. You know, so when they said that Puffy be putting stuff in the drinks, mm -hmm. and I, I'm not saying yeah. you did that, brother. Yeah. But I'm mm -hmm. just saying, I saw this reality. Somebody had right. did something yeah. to this guy. Yeah. They're setting the table for you. They're setting you up. When these guys talking about, hey, man, they got you high and did this and fucked you in the ass mm -hmm. and uh, pardon my yeah. language. This ain't no joke, man. Yeah. Yeah. And then they film you and then they want to yeah. tell you, well, you know, you're in the club now. So, you know, if you don't want to play ball, you know, we don't want to have to yeah. release this. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? That's a gangster move right there. Mm -hmm. It's their gangsters. That's why that's a gangster move. But I... I, I I don't I, I don't even with that man I don't like um the, the, I don't know the the the, 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 the sneaky I don't know like that that there's a different dynamic with that you know, like Grammy and slimy is different you know what I'm saying Grammy is you know, like and like and like even the contest like I, like a gangster move you know what I'm saying like motherfuckers you look like come like taking you know what I'm saying there's a big thing like in, in, in the joint they, 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 uh, like in the particular street the street travel known for particular with the GDs they, 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 you come to sales says man dude get my stuff the first thing they ask you they take it and steal it from you 
<laughs> right. Mm. You take it as a, it's, you know what I'm saying? He took it from you or did he steal it? Spiking some drinks, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's like a, I mean, it's like you get, the, it's, you're taking advantage of, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, that's what, I, don't, I can't, I don't see that in the gangster category, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you slipping some uh, Mickey's. Oh, that's the devil's category. It's, 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 it's some slimy shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's some, as a pro, you know what I'm saying? That's some, to, to, to do that, to, to, to manipulate, like I say, like, that, even, even even that, like, I, I truly, our youth in particular got started fighting for those distinctions of those terms, like, like, like you know what I'm saying, okay, what, how did it happen, you know what I'm saying, it was just sort of slipped to you, and, 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 and that's even become glorified, you know what I'm saying, we, like, it was a cold, like, you say, man, like, like, like you don't, like, like, take advantage of the weak, like, that's, that's exploiting somebody, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, they, they, you know, that's they, the unconscious, yeah, but that's not no gangster shit, but see, here, here's what. Let, let me finish my story. Yes, sir. You know, it was another part. Okay, of, I ain't yeah, in, I'm yeah. not in disagreement with you. Yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. finish my story. Yeah, the part of the story. Yeah. Y'all remember Rock Hudson? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you ever see the life story of Rock, Rock, uh, I mean, uh, Rock Hudson? A long time ago. Rock Hudson came in in the Hollywood, wanted to do his thing, this, that, and the other. Yeah. Got an agent, et cetera. The next thing you know, they put him at a particular gas station. He's working and, you know, he meets a black guy. You know what I'm saying? Black guy invites him to a certain situation. Turns out it's a homosexual situation. Yeah. They start exploiting Rock Hudson and bring the homosexual out of him. Uh -huh. His agent begins to introduce him to homosexuality made him the same shit they're doing now I'm talking about they were porn, uh, performing fellatio on so and so yeah, so yeah. well the agent had rock hudson doing this did. he winds up falling in love with the black guy huh. they're lovers did. but they're putting rock hudson out here like he's a damn superhero yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah but they done tricked him into the whole thing yeah i don't think they tricked him into it my point is they exploited his appetite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. See what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. saw it in him. Yeah. They saw it in him. And they brought it out of him. Yeah. But Mr. Rick, and, and Darren, we was talking about this the other day, man. It's like these young cats being raised by their mom without the fathers. Mm -hmm. Most of the fathers are incarcerated, dead, or right. just bad dads. So, like, once again, is it something like, is it something that we're choosing to do? Is it something, because I look at R. Kelly, never met the brother in person, but I used to remember when they called him Robert. <laughs> when he was at the, uh, what's the name of that club down on Michigan Avenue? Yeah, he used to be down there, and then he used to be at- uh, Cotton Club. Cotton Club. The Cotton Club, yeah. because Bernie Mac was up there. Stick, yeah, Bernie Mac used to come out there. Yeah. But I remember because I used to, uh, they the young lady that knew R. Kelly. But man, you know, the dude, handsome guy, ladies falling all over him. Like, like what, why would you make that? Now you're incarcerated for life. You're locked up for life. Everything that you ever dreamed of is gone. You had everything at your fingertips. Once again, Mr. Rick, like we talked about, I want Darren to talk about this. Like, where's your OGs at? Where's that brother in your life that was like, nigga, stop that shit. Mm. Let, me pat, let me pitch that to you, man. Like I was talking about with Rock Hudson and P. Diddy and all that. And, and I, please, I want y'all to understand, I ain't shitting on P. Diddy, man. I don't mm -hmm. understand. I ain't shitting on P. Diddy at all. I ain't mm -hmm. shitting on R. Kelly. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to ex describe to you mm -hmm. the circumstance in which they in were in. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So they take you out of that environment so that you can't have an OG. Mm. They mm. don't want you yeah. amongst the OGs. Yeah. Then it, it would be dif di divisive. Yeah. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the consciousness, the, the, the mentality, yeah. it would be split. Yeah. They want to indoctr indoctrinate yeah. you yeah. into their world yeah. because they know you're unfamiliar with it. Yeah. And, and, and they see what's in you. They got private detectives and all kinds yeah. of shit yeah. around following yeah. you, man. Yeah. Then they put a handler on top of your head. You, you understand yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Know so you better than you know yourself. The, the fight is fixed here. Yeah. And you're a young kid. Yeah. You know, you. the world is kissing your ass. Yeah. Oh, we're going to make you the greatest in the world. You know, just play the game. Yeah. 
And now you playing a game that yeah. you don't want to play. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I'm, I'm going to come back to that, but I'm, I'm going to let you go ahead, brother. <laughs> that was good. And, yeah. No, I, I got some shit for you. You know what I'm saying? I, but I don't want to take yeah. up everything. You, you, you go ahead. You know what? Let's go back to the very beginning when they first came to the continent and started taking the resources, mm. enslaving the people on the continent. Mm. So when you see we got something that the rest of the world wants, mm -hmm. e even our melanin, resources, okay? We, you, we come here to this country, right? Same thing, like you say, it's people assigned to them communities because we got something they're that handlers. people want. I remember in the 70s, I was sharing this with my kids because they never got a chance to see it. I say when I was growing up, the liquor store, the laundromat, the <laughs> gas station, the grocery store, that was owned by a black man. I All was, of it. I wasn't used to no Arab cooking me mm. no chicken. <laughs> then you had black folks who worked good jobs, it'd be the steel mill, and on the side, they would have a family business. It'd be the store, the laundromat, the beauty supply store. They take their hard-earned money, send their kids to college. What happened? The kids don't want the family business. Right. So then the Arabs came. I'll never forget that. Like around 1978, I started seeing the Arabs. Then the Koreans. Then the Pakistan. The, no, what's the people? Palestinians. Uh, Palestinians. All of them people started coming. So now you if you go in our community, like you said, you got all these foreign people in our communities, right? Mm -hmm. What I had to understand and this was even in the streets I had to understand this. Everybody's aware of the situation. History's been out here, so everybody is aware, maybe not to the same level, but even the young people, they see what's going on. But what I had to realize, one of me and another brother was talking, and he was like, man, we black folks, we gotta come together. I said, no, that's the mistake you're making. Every black person ain't cut from the same cloth. You better say that again. Every last one of them ain't cut from the same cloth. I understood that when we was in the streets. When, when, I, when I joined the Black Gangster Disciple Nation, there were some old branches from the old days that carried over into the Black Gangster Disciple Nation as branches. High Supreme Gangster Disciples, Insane Gangster Disciple, Outlaw Gangster Disciple, Boss Pimp, Sir Cons, Maniacs. One of my dons told me, this was my don, got to never forget him, Don Cameron, he deceased now. I was high supreme against the side. You know what he told us? He said, man, you got to be selective of who you bring into this thing, even hmm. from among the other disciples. Everybody can't be no high supreme. Man. Hmm. That was, so we understood even then, every black person ain't cut from the same cloth. So what we have to do is take the people that's the same mindset and work with them. Because if we take anybody else, you have to see them as what they are. They pawns. They are hindering. Now, who was that? Are you talking about Diddy? We talking about, yeah, those people like that. So what we have to do is because they, like you said, they even assign agents to you. They know what you like. Man, they know come what you on, need. Man. So they put these people up to be images in the community, right? Mm -hmm. We have to change that by giving some other strong men. And like I always tell people, I tell people even in the church, listen, in order to get this thing right. It's going to have to be some bloodshed. That's a fact. And here, well, here's what I mean by that. Mm. When you look in the Bible, the Bible in the Hebrew does not say thou shalt not kill. It says thou shalt not do murder. Exactly. Murder is a lawless act of taking life. Let's say if I got to defend Chairman Fred or Mr. Rick, let's say somebody came in here and I had to up thing and take them down and they died. I killed them, but I didn't murder them. Hey, hello. So a lot of people are paralyzed by thinking if you defend your community or defend other human life, that you 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 breaking God's law by, by killing. You're not killing, you protected them. That's one of the reasons why we have what the problems we have. No other race of people are thinking like that. They will defend it. That's why we allow other people to come in our community, wreak havoc. I'm convinced. Because I got a chance to work in the firearms industry. See, I'm not a convicted felon. Hmm. See, I left the streets in 1984 with a good record. I became a correctional counselor after that. And I worked on an armored truck. I got a chance to see some things. Exactly. 
I'm convinced that it's not only young black men. I believe 20% of those killings in Chicago mm. are being done by black men. But I believe it's private military contractors, including some of these Hispanics, that's carrying out these hits. When you start seeing head and torso shots mm. from moving vehicles, you fight mm. against windage mm. and elevation. Only a professional can do that. Mm. The problem is, it's not that this stuff can't be turned around because it's not going on in nobody else's neighborhood. You don't hear about no bunch of Mexicans uh, getting... 100 Mexicans got shot over the weekend. You don't mm. hear that. They selling dope and gangbang too. It is only happening in our community because everybody want what we have. The problem is these politicians and even some of these niggas on the street, even some of these ones that's out here doing these killings, a lot of them have sold out. And the reason they won't stand up, you want to know why? Is because they have made deals with these people. Hello. Like you said, Hello. they didn't screw some of these people. They do it in another way. You done got in so much trouble. You owe us a favor. Nigga, I need to know what Chairman Fred over there talking about. So I need you to go to all of these meetings. That's why certain people can't come to your meetings. Hell and no. I'm talking about these black politicians. I went to a meeting one time. They had white police officers and black politicians at this meeting. I said, why you got these people in here? Like you said, it's not all of them. But see, a lot of people are not willing to die. You remember Malcolm X even said the price of freedom is death. Mm -hmm. and, and that means that if we really do this the way it's supposed to be done, to change the community, start trying to protect our community, it's going to be some bloodshed because the powers that be are not going to sit by and allow that to happen. That's why groups like the Panthers was labeled as terrorist group. They got them labeled as a terrorist group. But the Ku Klux Klan is a fraternal organization. You allow that to exist. Mm -hmm. You got neo-Nazi groups that exist legally. You got white boys that carry guns that's convicted felons. Legally, we the only group of people that sit back, like I used to tell a sister in the church, the Bible say pray and watch. It didn't say just pray. Hmm. And sometimes you got to take action. I tell them all the time, if somebody came in your house and was raping your wife, you just going to sit there and pray? Hmm. No, nah, I'm going to blow his fucking head off. Hmm. Or her, if even if it's a woman. Right away. So hmm. we, And then here's another thing. When you look at stuff that happens in other countries, Let's say when they took all them leaders off of the street, it created a power vacuum. You look in Iraq, they took, uh, what was that, Saddam Hussein? Power vacuum. Libya, Gaddafi. Gaddafi, power vacuum. Mm. That's done on purpose. It's mm. not because these people were so bad they wanted to create a good system. Mm. It's because they knew it was going to create a power vacuum and people would be fighting. Even among the street tribes, there are people that had been planted into them groups. Mm. And they are part of what's going on. And they know what's happening. Our politicians know what's happening out here. So what we have to do is, the first thing, like I said, we got to face reality. You see, mm -hmm. we don't like to face the reality. Mm -hmm. We're delusional. We're a lot, it's a lot of traitors among us. Mm -hmm. There's one Arab was sharing with me what they call them, the fifth column. He said in his country in Palestine, he said the first thing we did was get rid of the fifth column mm -hmm. because we know that these were the people that was working with our enemies that was coming over here. Mm. So everybody that looked like us, even though mm. it might be my own brother. Oh, man, please. I had a conversation with my son. This is my youngest son. You know what I asked him? Mm. Because I live in the real world. I said, man, you ain't you ain't gonna be the guy that end up killing me one day, are you? Mm. He's like, no, damn, I ain't gonna do it. I said, I'm just asking. I said, because as much as I love my kids, I said, I don't love no motherfucker that More much to be disrespected. Me. Or to be killed, so I'm just asking. Mm -hmm. And my son's a good man. I believe I, he, I believe him, but I had to ask him that because you don't know who you're working with. So again, I believe that we have to confront our brothers. That's say this. What's this boy name? Drake, right? Yeah, Drake and Lamar. Yeah, Drake and Lamar. Let's check take, take this out. <laughs> now I just found out that Drake. I knew he was a light skinned brother. We got a lot of light skinned brothers. Light right. skinned people in my family. Some of us are brown, some are yellow, right? Mm -hmm. But from what I understand, if it's true, y'all could correct me on this. His he comes from a European Jewish family. They say that um, I don't know how true that that's is. That's the word. So so I don't so, know how true it is, but that's the word. That's what I've heard. His mother. Yeah. So we have to right. understand that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this, and this is probably gonna be real contra controversial. Me and my daughter was having a conversation and uh, we was talking about what needs to be done to better the conditions of black people as a whole, right? Now, I got a nephew. His wife is Mexican. His kids are mixed. 
Now, you got some good Mexicans, they ride with us, black folks, and then you got some that think they white, and that's just reality. Mm -hmm. That's just reality. No, it's real. She said, but do you know, this is not my daughter told me, do you know, she said, now, if we want to really straighten our thing out, just like the Italian mafia, at one time, if you wasn't uh, from Sicily, Exactly. You could be Italian, but if you wasn't from Sicily, you couldn't be made a made person. Right. Because they got to be able to trace your roots back. Right. Al Capone was what you call, I think they call a Neapolitan. He wasn't even Sicilian. Mm -hmm. A lot of them cats wasn't. So in the old days, in order to be real mafia and a made man, you had to be a Sicilian. My daughter told me, listen, because my nephew and his kids are half Mexican, if we put something together, they couldn't be a part of it. You want to know why? Because if we ever had to stand against them, for doing something to us, their loyalties will be divided. It needs to be a black and white, a, a black mother and father, a black group, uh, grandmama and grandfather, on down to maybe four generations back. Because people's loyalties, we have enough with our own people being disloyal. So we can't have outside people. Like Malcolm said, you can help us, but you can't join us. And there's certain things we can't share that with you. Right. So I believe that people like Drake and these rappers. I believe that they, and I don't have no proof, I believe that they have sold out. They know propagating this murder is making money because, see, everybody wants to be a killer. You got young guys, they willing to go to jail and willing to die for the sake of having the title of being a killer because it makes me feel powerful. If I can't be nothing else, guess what? I can be a killer. If I can't do good in school, I can be a killer. I had friends back in the day when we was growing up. One of the ways they acted out was because they wasn't good in school. So, but if right. I could whoop somebody, I make a name for myself. Yeah. I gotta be somebody. If I can't be nothing, I can be a killer. So what they do is they take this killer thing, all the movies we looking at, like you said. Every one of them. All of them, power and all this other thing. I don't even watch that. All of it's about uh, murder and like we used to say in the old days. On ourselves. On mm -hmm. each other, only on each other now. Only on each other. I had a barber. Uh, he was back in Stateville Penitentiary in the 1950s. He told me in the 1950s the penitentiary was full of white men. You better he said believe black it. Black men were the minorities. You mm -hmm. better believe it. We was the minorities back there. They were the niggas mm -hmm. at that time. Project Sue. Mm -hmm. That's but what we was talking about Tim Scott. You know, he said, yeah. you know, we're gonna clean up the streets of Chicago. And that's what we was talking about, Brother Howard. What you gonna do? Build more penitentiaries? Pretty right. much. Yeah, Pretty you much. know, billionaire mm -hmm. penitentiaries mm -hmm. so you can scoop the brothers up and take them. That's how you're gonna clean up the streets. Mm -hmm. And those penitentiaries Real fast. are privately owned. Real fast. Mm -hmm. I want you to like, subscribe, follow, hit them comments, tell us to kiss your whatever it is you feel. Mm -hmm. Get in the comments and tell us what we should be talking about, what you didn't like, what you did like. Mm -hmm. But get in there and let us hear from you. Right on. And, and Brother Chairman Fred, I want to hear from you about this Drake and Lamar thing, because I know you kind of like rub shoulders with some of the uh, the rappers and stuff like that. Well, what's your beef on that? Because we'll one, one point to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mentioned about the, um, I mean, you, you, you struck a memory. Uh, I think I'm about 12 years old, and this foreign, this merchant in our community, I think Arab, I remember him saying, they're going to open us from, I'm about 12 years old, I remember him saying, they go over, um, get some, you might get some liquor stores in England. I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. And he said, we can get many as we want to. And I, and I never forget it. The way he looked at me was like a, an arrogance. He said, we, he said, all we got to do is the alderman. I, I was trying to say, what's like an alderman? He said, we can just talk to them. We can put as many liquor stores as we want to. And I, and he said, we have to respect no zoning. And that's why I first heard the word zoning. I, I, remember, mm -hmm. I, remember, mm -hmm. I, remember, I remember him saying that. This type of stuff is necessary for convers the people to notice the dynamics of that. Like even like the the, the like you see them in the, the the fish and chicken joints, mm -hmm. and you be like, why they change names? Whale sharks all the time. Yeah, all the the, the not the forgivable loans that they get. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know what I'm saying? Right. They come in. Mm -hmm. See all see yeah, see all times you are also like you think they just maybe they good businessmen. You know what I'm saying? Right. But this right. is necessary to understand the machine. They can come in and get the loans like that. You know what I'm saying? With no uh, no 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 interest on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's one thing that that dude Donald Sterling has said. You need criticism he raised by Magic Johnson. He said the form on the Clippers. He said in their community they do loans amongst they people with no interest. Mm -hmm. he, he said that. That, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so this is the different dynamics that can be put in place, man, you know? Right. 
everything political, in, in, including um, including music. You know, oh, oh, without oh, a doubt. Yeah, and, and let me say one thing. I want to throw this out there too. Sixty-seven on Green right now. We got the Black Panther Party Free Breakfast Program going on. As we oh, yeah. as the film is going on two weeks. Right. No media coverage. No elected officials are coming over there and support that. Let a drive-by shooting. Go, go, yeah. It don't happen. Let a let a let a drive-by shooting happen over there. And let a drive-by shooting happen over there. And you watch the media coverage. Mm. We've been feeding people over there. The Black Panther Party Club. If nothing else, you say, man, wait a minute, his son is the the black the the, black, the, the program that Jake or Hoover talked about. So down the road when they say they be talking about it, this happening right now every morning at ten o'clock. Well, let us come over there. You know what I'm saying? Man, let's do it. Let's do Let's it. See what I'm Let's do it. You know what I'm saying? But well, well, we don't point that contradiction. That's why we appreciate the OG, but it's people to understand this is a machine directed and not let, you know what I'm saying? But it's inspired. It's old people, oh, without old a doubt. Panthers are going crazy to hear about this. They like, what? They come back to life. I'm talking about party members. I'm talking about who they all to the more information is coming about the free breakfast program, the struggles that happen. I mean, they've been calling me if they come back to life. You know what I'm saying? Right. And it's running over there. We we need to, we need to, and, and this is why me and my partner created this original genes. We need to take responsibility. See, yeah. uh, why why they won't give us this? Yeah, why yes. they won't? Yeah. Why do you need them to give right you on. something? I agree. I agree. Create, create, create a power yeah. base, and they'll come begging you to take. No doubt it. about it. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. No, I, I don't but, believe in that. I, yeah. I don't believe I, in begging for I what agree. we need because what's going to happen is when you start begging them, yeah. continue yeah. to beg yeah. them. Cool. Was, yeah. You right. want it? Yeah. You want it? We cool. They're going to <laughs> use cool. what you're asking yeah. for yes. to manipulate no doubt. you. Yes. Yes, no Tell doubt. Me I, I just want to, for the record. I just want to, we don't. No, I just want to point to the contradiction to our people. Cause, you know what I'm saying? Because we, like I said, we cover ourselves. But I want to point that contradiction out. This is this, this a concerted effort? You know what I'm saying? They're gonna give you attention if you engage in negative activity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just want to point that out for yeah, the record. You know what I'm saying? Without a doubt. You know what I'm saying? Let you know uh, 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 people know it's not. But well, maybe they don't know. It's a war. It's you know what I'm saying? This it's, it's by design. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But we gonna cover it ourselves. But I just want to point it to our people to understand. That's intentional. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Yeah, but we know that. But mm -hmm. a, lot of, a lot of times people would be like, well, maybe they didn't know, blah, blah, blah. No, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna throw yeah. this, I want to throw this out here, too. And this is very controversial. Uh, I've, I've shared this with people in the community. One of the big things how we can do, now, people will always kill each other. But it don't have to be like this. It can be cut down. As long as you got men out there with that kind of hard, you're going to see that. But it don't have to be like it is now. All this killing. One of the biggest problems we got with young men today, I noticed that even though I got young guys, I call them my nephews, and I done stopped them from doing a lot of stuff. Right. One of the biggest problems with them, they so sensitive. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> looked at me, I don't like the way this nigga Man. looked at me. Another guy right. cheered it on. <laughs> so you waiting for him outside the gas station, and you ready to light him up. Or somebody bumping to you and you ready to fight. Now, back in the day, it was killing going on, but not over that kind of stuff. It was hold my coat back then. But if you look at most of these guys today, we was coming up, everybody was lifting weights and athletic. You look at most of them, they real skinny, real weakly, like they don't eat, they pop pills and all that other kind of stuff. And eat the bad food. Yeah, and all this bad food at the restaurants and all this other kind of stuff. One of the biggest things that's messing us up right now, and it's like a factory, you have to cut off the supply of something if you want to stop it. If we could get our girls, our women, see, because it starts with them. We know it's always going to be men that have kids and don't take care of their responsibility. But if we could convince our girls, don't have another baby. See, these kids out here, they already out here now. But we can cut it off for the next generation. Do not have another baby. Got nobody that you're not going to be married to and y'all ain't going to be together. You got too many girls, four and five, six baby daddies and all the baby's daddies in the, in, in the joint. I got a friend of mine. All her baby's daddies have been killed. Every last one of them. Wow. So when you got a woman today and, and they ain't like them old grandmamas we had because my grandmother was a hard lady. My grandma. You know, I'm, I'm growing up, I always thought she was a Christian lady. My grandma pulled out some pictures. She said, boy, look, I'm going to show you what a real gangster is. She was one policy. Mm -hmm. So there was some hard women back then, but we don't have that now. 
So if we could get, and I ain't talking about could get no abortions either. I ain't talking about that because we got enough Planned Parenthood. To Preventive maintenance. Don't keep having no babies. If you stop having all these kids, you producing these bad seeds. Produce it with a man and a wife in the family and give your kids some values. We're, we're going to continue this conversation. We're going to look at this beef thing and how the industry is manipulating it and have been manipulating it for many years. But we're going to get up to to Drake and what's the other brother's name? Uh, Ken Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Lamar. Yeah. I'm going to ask you your feelings on that and then we're going to walk it back because I want to piggyback on that. But I'm, I'm going to let you start off with it and, and give some insight on that and where you think that is. It's a hell of a time. In fact, I, I had uh, made sure um, on this recent trip to the West Coast, I, I made sure I touched down with a few forces and um, actually, I guess I'm uh, giving a preview. The theme for our upcoming Chairman Fred Street Party is going to be, they not like us. It's a phenomenon and it's happening. And I was I actually uh, was struggling with this sister not too long ago. I said, are you, are you here? Before it got to, the, to this day, I said, are you here? Chopping them with the OGs. Take eight. All right, Miss Rick's on you. Now, we're going to continue with Drake and the Kendrick Lamar situation. Mm -hmm. and, and you were plugging into that. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a hell of a time, especially like even um, some last points we were talking about, like... Uh, Regards to the young sisters in the pregnancy, I was just thinking about like, man, you, the lyrics and the, I mean, not, I mean, the sexy reds and the, um, yeah. uh, it's, I mean, it's a whole like a phenomenon. Well, literally, then they be, I mean, they be out there pregnant, uh, uh, loud over some other one, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And it's the, 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 the uh, I mean, it's a agenda. You like, you know, uh, yeah. well, she wasn't pregnant with the other one. He's like, why are these, you know what I'm saying? I mean, like, right. and, and, and ironically, it's be an old saying back to say, like, uh, women being barefoot and pregnant. Yeah. It's a common image with these youngsters seeing now. These these young girls are literally barefoot yeah, yeah. and pregnant on the stage. So I'm, I want to preface with that so how, the, how the propaganda, you know, the, the, the role, how powerful it is. With that being said, this stage in the game right now, this Kendrick Lamar dynamic, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the Drake and the whole discussion about they not like us. One of my comrades, I like how she assessed it, Comrade Cool, she said, finally we got something that our children are saying that we cool with, that they're singing that we're cool with. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, once I said, you hear him? She said, no, I, I said, you gotta pay attention. I said, you gotta grasp it. It's a phenomenon. It's so much, it's so much stuff in, in, in I mean, terms they use. I mean, mm -hmm. colonizer, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, and it's but the, the whole the, the music industry, you know what I'm saying, is 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 phenomenal. We gotta seize the time with this discussion, you know what I'm saying? Cause right. it's a, cause very mm -hmm. like a lot of times it'd be ideal you want these children to get engaged in conversations, you know what I'm saying? But it's kinda like we talking about the OG, the OGs. You gotta like we going fishing, and you get that that point. You know, you, there's no there's no perfect no gift rap revolution. There's no perfect allies mm -hmm. to get them engaged in some common. You know what I'm saying? I watched this youngster. And I was talking about the um, they not like us, and I caught their ear. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's so much. It's pregnant with potential. It, it's I mean, yeah. It's addressing. I mean, and a lot of people say, okay. It's, it's, you put, now this people he's born, uh, born in Chicago, raised in Compton, Kendrick mm -hmm. Lamar. Everything from the race, the class contradiction, it's so much political education that you know saying that they're touching on that we gotta keep it going. I haven't in fact it's a thing for this year. I haven't oh, seen I, I haven't it's um it's kinda of, it, it kinda of puts me in the spirit, I mean in the thought, um the Montgomery Brawlers, uh last uh, it was last year, uh when the uprising happened at the uh, on the uh, the ship, you know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When people was inspired just to have a conversation about see, just even have a conversation right. about race and class, you know, not in the abstract sort of way. This, this I mean it's it's, it's it, man, it's hitting the streets, it's in every arena. It, it, some soccer game or I think Brazil, you know what I'm saying, in the background, something and it opens the door for all type of discussion. We gotta seize the time with it, man, because this, I mean. Again, it's gonna, be, it's gonna be one of the things that we addressing uh, for the Chairman for uh, Street Party. It's, it's phenomenal, man. man. It's phenomenal. You go ahead and piggyback on that, good brother. Uh, again, uh, as far as like with this uh, imagery, that's what we have a problem with imagery. It's the images, and I believe that these people, these rappers, have been strategically put in place because they know they can get the attention of the young people, and it's almost like when you idolize something so bad you become desensitized to what it actually represents. I was sharing with one of my sisters 
when, when I first came to the South Side, it was 1973. Growing up on the West Side, we was a little more advanced. You learned how to fight young, pitch pennies, hustle. You know, it was other kids that was robbing other kids. Shooting, fire trucks, ambulance, police cars. You heard that all the time. I thought that was normal. Of course. When I came to the South Side, we came in an area called Park Manor. I didn't know that them kids went in the house at night. <laughs> the West Side, we stay out all night, even though our parents would be on the porch. Right. You know, I'm looking. I don't hear no, you know, back in the days, the pimps had them girls out there. The prostitutes used to look like movie stars back then. Right. I mean, me and my friends, was like, that's my girlfriend. You see the pimp come down the street. Had the car. Right. horns. So I ain't hear none of that when I came over there. I couldn't even sleep, right? Mm. But what I didn't realize is I didn't realize how conditioned I was. Right. See, I thought the whole world was like that. But exactly. it wasn't. It was only certain areas over there like that. So now you got kids because of the music industry, they are desensitized to you hear at one time you you would hear a kid would probably hear something like, I remember the first time I saw somebody get killed, I was probably about eight years old. And it bothered me. Right. As it went on, you know, mm -hmm. that became a normal thing. Mm -hmm. So that wasn't that right. wasn't no big thing, you know, killing. I thought that was the way every neighborhood was. Right. So now you got kids, because of these people in the music industry pushing this, the kids are so desensitized that it don't really bother them. So It's like a you, video game. Yeah, it's like a video game. And you got millions of kids listening to this. So they don't come up with that sense of this is a human life that they took. And they don't have that sense of, these are my people. They don't have a sense of loyalty. That has to be brought back to them. So what we got to do, you have to catch them kids when they're little. And again, it starts with these girls having babies. Because you got uh, these girls listening to this music. I pull up on the side of somebody, and there's girls in the car singing that too. I got six bangers. And man, I laid man, this thing Going down. harder than do. Yeah. And then some of our brothers that have not matured. I'd be so surprised when I pull up. And you got a man in a car with gray hair, and he listening to the same bullshit music that the Hello. kids are listening to. We yeah. was young, we was listening to adult music. Yeah, yeah, you know, but you got brothers who have not matured as well. Oh, without a doubt. So we gotta do something as far as the images of what a man is, and then bring him back that sense of loyalty. Because see, they they don't have a purpose. See, you don't have a purpose, and you got all the wrong images. And the sad part is. The people that are doing it, I mean, our people that's doing it, they know exactly what they do. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Exactly. You got some people that are just out for themselves. I remember a young brother that's deceased now and got himself in a whole lot of trouble. I had to go talk to some guys on his behalf. He was part of the disciple nation. But what he was doing wasn't for the group, it was for himself. Right. So you always got people that are out for themselves. That. Yeah, you right. distinguish that. And a lot of our entertainers, actors, same thing. They doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand that's the way it is. The most beautiful lady, the most beautiful lady at the BET award, BET show, the most beautiful one was there. And she had the most clothes on, Lauren Hill. <laughs> she had an image of Chairman Fred Big up there. Yeah. Minister U. E. P. Newton, Bob Marley. She had a son up there with her. Man, it was beautiful. Oh, shout out to her, Lauren Hill. Hey oh, now, on that yeah. note, um, we were talking about Drake and Lamar. I'm going to flip it a little bit here. What, what's the young lady's name that they didn't allow her to play in the Olympics? Caitlin, is that her name? Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark. Clark. I respect her game. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I don't know a lot about her uh, yeah. basketball, no, I, but I've watched her. I have did some studying, you know. Yeah. I appreciate her game. Yeah. Let, let me start there. But where I'm going with this is, this looks to me, and we're back to the same shit in a different box. Right. This looks like the magic and bird female version. Mm. You, you understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you, the right, controversy right. there. You got that Angel Reese. Who's yeah. Of the sky. Exactly. And then you have that Caitlin Clark who's playing up in Indiana. You, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? You can't get no more... <laughs> but now Bird Race was Lee from Indiana. Indiana. Right, right. Indiana. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm looking at this and I'm saying, hey, yeah. this is the same situation yeah. again. Yeah. You know, 
uh, create the controversy because Hollywood believes that nothing sells better than controversy. Yeah. And it falls into their schematics of race separation, yes, the yeah. whole nine yards. That's the nature of this country. You know, yeah. but she, she, she's a mild-mannered young lady, and yeah. she's doing her thing. And I watched her, you know, I looked at some footage of her coming up in the game. No, she yeah. a beast. Yeah. A bullshit ain't nothing. She a beast, just like yeah. Larry Bird was a beast. Yeah. She a beast. Yeah. You know, yeah. the mother young ladies, the black girls, they're beasts. Yeah. But the media, the media yeah. is playing this to whereas it's racist. It is. A 15, I overheard a 15-year-old, I heard a 15-year-old girl tell another young lady the other day. It's a, but see, it go down, uh, in addition to the media, this, man, people be surprised how, I mean, what the, the the mindset they were the the black Air Force Ones yeah you know you know, you know how they mm -hmm. do them right yeah that you a robber you you bad black the, the white Air Force uh, <laughs> no, right. the, the white Air Force Ones uh, this girl touched she said don't get the the black you had a black yeah, the right. same shoe but a, yeah. it's a black Different shoe colors. you bad you yeah, this, yeah. I mean, this twenty twenty four man the white Air Force woman you go, and the girls uh, then she said that the girl got white fingernail polish I mean her private parts is good. Man, yeah, it's a, that's a, a, that's a, a, a wife. Yeah, it's yeah. A, see everything. Up to my, man, that test to do with them children at that school. To what's the pretty down? Them children were just being honest on a mindset mm. of how most people feel, even as adult. Exactly. What you know, what I'm saying that still exists. You know, what I'm saying so. It goes, man. It's on, man. It's the, this. She was like bringing like a science. She said, "Oh, black Air Force One. Oh, he a rob. Wow, he a bad dude." Mm -hmm. I said, "Wow." Man, it's, it's, that's, it's, that's, it's still it's here. The it's same the, you know, science, man. It's the yeah. same, same science. science. Yeah. And, and I'm going to close it on this note here. Why are you watching this show? This is the original OGs. This is a different part of what we're doing here, you know. But it's all the same connection. And I want you to understand. The original OGs represents the original gentleman. Here is where we try to find as much information as we can to prepare people for life and those that are already on the journey to become better people. We're, we're, we're not trying to be divisive about right. anything here. We're saying, hey, we want to service you so that you can gain information to, to, to build yourself, to build your own character. When I was a young guy, these stories we're talking about, I used to have to sit at the feet of these guys mm -hmm. and listen mm -hmm. in order to get the history and the reality of what we were going through. Mm -hmm. My parents talking about the South and the detriment of it and, and the things they went through and the brothers, you know, that were heads of these different organizations talking about the civil rights movement and the mm -hmm. black power struggle. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I had to sit there to listen in order to get this information, but I was privileged to be able to sit there. No. You know, I might have to go and run and get the soda pops or the whatever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I was allowed to sit there yeah. and that shaped me no doubt. and molded me. And so I'm, I'm trying to give that back to you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to believe everything we say. You don't have to accept it. Take what you want from it and build your character. If you're not building your character, then you're being given a character. Hmm. So <laughs> build your character. Dig that. Yep, so we're still chopping it up here. But I want to get to an exciting part in me and my partner's life right now. We're, we're, we're coming out with our own clothing line. It's out. You can order it online uh, you can go next week and you can just start ordering it but this is the t-shirts we'll be coming out with um beautiful stuff quality stuff we have much more coming out but we're going to start here go online support yourself even if you're young support because you're there you are the aspiring ogs you, you have to come behind us and you have to have you have to take responsibility. But what I'm going to do with this one and this cap.
These are caps as well. Now this one just says OG, just like this cap. So I'm gonna present this one to you, good brother. Oh uh, wow, I appreciate that, brother. Without a doubt. Now this is another version we're coming out with my silhouette on it. Now this is my signature edition. Mm -hmm. It'll have on the sleeve. This you can buy as well. So once again, support, you know, and wear this even if you're a young OG, mm -hmm. make it happen. We're, we're, we're cr creating a community, a community of responsibility. And we got something for the ladies, too. We're, we're not being disrespectful now. We're, no. we're coming out with something for you as well, you know, but I'm going to present this one to the chairman. Right on, respect, right on. Yes, and indeed. I want you to know, you can go online. We have this in two versions. You can get it with the leather, seat, leather sleeves, or you can get the all satin. You, you, on the, hey, the hat's on the sleeve there. Uh, you can we, we donate to the B. This is a community community organization. We also have the jackets that are out. Uh, they come in two versions: one with the leather sleeve, leather trimming. Uh, we have the cap on the on the sleeve. We have the B on the sleeve here that's we donate so much to this organization og is on the front and you can order these as well so we finna get it popping there's a lot of other stuff coming we also have things for women don't get it twisted mm -hmm. you know uh the first og in my life was my mama mm -hmm. so <laughs> let's not get it twisted so you know go online support let's build a community and when you wear these wear it with pride and responsibility mm, at all so thank you very much that's it that's all the og stepping voices to be heard with wisdom so grand they're here to break it down gonna tell it like it is all around the town og chopping block where the real talk don't stop cutting